this video, I'm going to show you the immense power of the pitchfork and how it can be used to pinpoint very precise reversal points in price as the pitchfork lines act as very strong barriers in certain situations. It's important that you understand that the best of these lines can only be extracted when we align them with the contextual layer of the market. In this chart, we can see that between number one and number three, we have what's called a solid price extreme in number two. That happens because number three surpassed the high number one, indicated that buyers are stronger than sellers in that particular point in time. We can see right after the peak in number three, price starts to go down a little bit and it starts to consolidate around the demand zone that comes out of the solid market extreme number two. We can also see price go sideways for a few bars. This is usually a moment of decision because the demand zone is where buyers are likely to pick up the market. But it's also a place where sellers can start showing some dominance by disproving the buyers and making price go downwards. Either way, this is a decisive moment. So let's advance price a little bit to see what happens. As we can see here, the sellers ended up disproving the buyers. We can notice that the demand zone where buyers were supposed to appear is completely violated and the low number two, which will be a last barrier for buyers to hold, is also completely violated. This is usually a moment of confusion for price action traders because their notion of trend is suspended for a brief moment. Traders usually expect highs and lows to progress smoothly and trends to continue without any surprises. What happens is, is that these surprises also represent opportunities. The problem here is that traders who were counting on buyers end up being biased in that respect. So when that plan fails, they become lost. However, the smart trader is the one who is able to develop a more neutral interpretation of the market, meaning that this trader will not choose any sides to act. He will observe both sides of the market and act with the one that is yielding opportunities. With that in mind, when we see the barriers of buyers being completely ignored by the sellers, we end up having powerful information on our hands, meaning that if buyers failed, we know that sellers are winning. It's as simple as that, but when traders become biased to one side or, or they cheer for one player over the other, their biases end up blinding them to the simple and neutral analysis of the market. It's in this moment that we can start deploying some lines to help getting in the market in a precise point. By placing a pitchfork using the minor flow developed after high number three, which is the flow being dominated by the most recent sellers, we will notice a very suggestive intersection of lines. Notice how the center line of the pitchfork intersects with the black horizontal line from solid low number two. It's known that price is likely to exhaust some of its energy near the center line of the pitchfork, so when we have another different line passing in the same point, that is a strong indication that price might indeed reverse there. Let's fast forward price to see what happens. We can notice a few interesting details here. The most interesting one is that price indeed reversed at the intersection of the center line with the horizontal black line, and it did that almost perfectly. We can also, we can also notice the reaction in the lower tail of the bar right before price reaches the center, center line of the pitchfork. That shows that this pitchfork is in tune with price, so we can expect some sort of reaction when price touches it. Another detail here is that price creates a new low and then it comes back right to the center line of the pitchfork again almost perfectly. That spike also almost touches the black horizontal line as a resistance. Notice how adding the pitchfork creates a whole different layer of analysis that wouldn't necessarily be visible just with support and resistance lines. At this point, one of the things we can do is to extrapolate this pitchfork down to try and find another possible reversal, but to the upside this time. Notice that we can already see that price also respects the pitchfork lines in the extrapolated pitchforks as well. 
Let's fast forward the price a little more to see the moment where price is likely to reverse. It's important to keep in mind that just observing the lines of the pitchfork is not enough. We must also look for other clues that correlate with these lines. If we try to trade just when price hits a line without considering the overall context and line intersections, this type of analysis will simply not work. So let's see what price does next. Here we have another interesting situation. First, observe that trusting the lines alone is not enough, as price will go in and out of tune with the lines, but that's a more advanced topic for another day. Like I said, the moment where there is an intersection between lines, context, and what's called praxeological elements, we can think about identifying a market edge. Observe that right at this moment in the chart, we have one of the flagship techniques of the fractal flow methods appearing, which is a hybrid bar. This hybrid bar is signaling the end of this larger down movement at the same time that it's touching the lower line of the extrapolated pitchfork. Since we are talking about the end of a larger movement down, we can talk about employing a third pitchfork using larger price vectors as well. If we draw another pitchfork using number 1, number 2, and number 3, we'll notice a downward pitchfork that correlates with its lower line near the intersection of the hybrid bar with the extrapolated lines of the smaller forks. The thing here is that a previous violation of the fork line leads to a clue about more precise line that can be identified using a technique called parallel line. The combination of this parallel line from the major pitchfork, the extrapolated lines from the minor pitchfork, and the hybrid bar creates a triple intersection that suggests price is about to reverse. Contextually speaking, we can notice that sellers have been exhausting their energy to the downside for a while, and at some point, this pattern will be broken and buyers will indeed assume control of the market. The techniques indicate that this moment has arrived, so let's fast forward price to see what happens. As you can see in the chart, the combination of precise techniques and a contextual understanding of the market enable us to see price reversals quite accurately. In this video, I made a very introductory analysis. A complete price action analysis using professional tools goes much deeper than this. If you have interest in learning the professional price action analysis methods, please check out the courses available in the video description. Fractal Flow offers the most sophisticated trading courses and techniques on the market today at a very low price. If you have more questions, you can visit the Fractal Flow website, which is also available in the video description. There you can see the table of contents of each trading course, our mission as an education provider, and perhaps most importantly, you'll be able to find a wall of YouTube verified testimonials from our students. If you have any questions, you can also submit an email through the website or send an email directly to the email address in the video description. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and wish to support the material I create, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, activate the notifications button so you, so you don't miss future uploads, share the video with your trading community, and leave your feedback below in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos. Take care.